Just Alexandra Cranford getting you the latest on what's happening with our weather heading into Sunday morning. We're expecting some storms. Hope your Saturday is going okay so far. It's just a muggy, warm, windy kind of day today, but it's tomorrow morning that we're expecting the storms to move in. So what are we looking for? Heavy rain possible, some strong winds. That would be the most likely severe element with this line of storms and maybe a lower risk. It looks like for an isolated tornado or some hail, but again, the main threat, I think if we do see severe storm warnings, it's going to be for the high wind gusts for most of it. Weather alerts needed for tonight. Make sure you have your weather uh, WWL app uh, downloaded on your phone so you can get alerts and things like that. This is for tomorrow morning that we're expecting the showers and storms. Right now we do have a couple of showers north of the lake, but really clearly all of the really active weather is far to the west of us so around the Shreveport area. Also, especially in northern Mississippi, several active tornado warnings there and look at these boxes. These bright green boxes just littered all across the line of the stationary front. Those are flash flood warnings. The red boxes tornado watches so active system for sure, especially right around here is where we are definitely seeing those very uh, kind of severe conditions, plus the heavy rain that's extended far south because this front has not moved very much at all, and we're not expecting it to really get a push from the upper atmosphere until early tomorrow. More so tonight into early tomorrow, and then it'll eventually come through our area. So looking at precision cast, I know you want to see the timing on this. This is tonight. This is 7 p.m. We're mostly quiet all across southeast Louisiana, including, of course, New Orleans and into our coastal Mississippi spots that we cover as well. But here is the line starting to inch forward overnight. So this is 11 p.m. Couple showers here, but any real rain and storms are still way off to the west, maybe not even quite to left yet. Now this is 4 a.m. This may be the earliest that we start to see some of these storms knocking on the door at Tangipahoa Parish, maybe reaching Baton Rouge by then. And now we'll move forward to about 7:30, 8 a.m. I think 8, 9 o'clock. That could be the worst of the weather. I've been saying between about 7 and 9 or so uh, for these storms to move through. Now it could be a pretty thin little line of storms sweeping through. This is 8:39. It could start to slow down a little bit and maybe break up a bit. This takes us to 10 a.m. and then on toward lunchtime. This is right around noon and then through the afternoon will be drying out still with clouds, though temperatures in the 70s, still a bit humid feeling and look at this. We will keep at least a chance for some more showers even into tomorrow night and then this is Monday morning. I still have a 20% rain chance Monday morning, but if you're wondering when is it going to be worse? When's the real severe threat for us? It's going to be tomorrow morning, especially from about sunrise through we'll say midday or lunchtime and then the severe threat should really mostly be over after that. So pick a peek at your Sunday timeline five to about 7 a.m. right before sunrise or around sunrise. The storms start to move in from west to east. Depends on where you are for the timing of that 7 a.m. to about 9 or 10. That's when we will have, I think, the most active phase storms. Some could be strong. We're getting some heavy rain, things like that. 10 a.m. to noon, the line continues off to the east. So some of our Mississippi spots still getting rain, but the rain is gradually ending from west to east. And then as you can see, I still have the chance for some showers for the rest of the day. The severe risk for overnight tonight is a level two for our area. Clearly very high uh, that moderate level four out of five risk where we're seeing those tornado warnings happening right now on Sunday evening. Also, the enhanced risk is going and extending south just outside of our immediate viewing area. But if you're in other spots in Louisiana, you're outlined tonight for a big enhanced risk level three out of five. Now for us in New Orleans, mainly we're expecting the rain during the day Sunday. So this is our Sunday map for the severe risk, and it's either a level one or a level two, a little higher risk for that off to the east. But we are just looking for the line of storms to progress from the west to the east and bringing that high wind risk especially. So level one, level two, that's not out of the ordinary for us here, but we'll get some strong storms. We'll get some lightning. We'll get some brief heavy rain. Rainfall totals are looking like maybe up to about an inch or so. So our flooding rain outlook for tomorrow is the level one to two as well. So yep, yeah, we could get a quick downpour, maybe causing a bit of street flooding here and there. And most of the low lying kind of spots would be, you know, of course, the most likely to fill up with water with any downpours we get tomorrow. Checking again on the rainfall forecast for a couple different models. This is the Euro model. It has up to about a half inch for some spots, but closer to one to two for other locations. The GFS has pretty much widespread half an inch to about an inch. So that's why we're going with maybe up to about one or two inches. 
getting quickly into our forecast for tonight. We're at 78. We've had the clouds, an unsettled kind of feel. You can feel it's humid, it's muggy. You can almost feel there's some rain out there somewhere, although it is still mostly well to the west of us. Temperatures in the lower 80s and it has been windy too. We continue with the wind advisory for these gusts up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. So that will go until 7 p.m. So we're actually almost there. And then after that, we will see the gusty kind of weather start to slack off. Still a bit breezy though tonight and tomorrow. And with all these south winds through most of this week, we've continued with a coastal flood advisory. Looks like that one will go until 7 p.m. this evening for those sustained south winds. And then we should tomorrow after we get the front moving through, we should eventually get northwest winds, which should solve those issues, kind of push the water back down. Hour by hour through tonight, if you're out late after midnight, that's really where our rain chance will be about 20, 30%. And then you can see there, especially seven to about maybe nine or 10, I've been saying for New Orleans, maybe right around 8 a.m. or so for the most active phase of this storm system. Exact timing could still change a bit, but that's what we're thinking right now. It's not going to be necessarily an all day threatening kind of rain, but again, we will get that line moving on in and then out and still a chance for some showers later in the day, but the severe risk will really be coming to an end as that line passes out of our area. Monday, we start with a 20% chance for a couple of showers. We'll start the day also in the 50s. I think we'll have clouds. We'll have some breaks in the clouds, uh, but we will only make it to about 65 for the high. So really different feel on Monday. You may want to break out some light uh, sweater or jacket kind of stuff uh, out of your wardrobe that you haven't needed for a while. And then check it out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're starting north of the lake in the 40s. South of the lake, mornings cool in the 50s. And look at these days. They look so beautiful to me. We'll have the lower humidity. Lots of sun should be absolutely gorgeous and very different from this past week that has been so muggy and warm with those uh, near record high temperatures in the 80s. Instead, we'll be in the 70s. We get another little front passing through quickly on Friday. So I think that one, since we don't have a lot of moisture surging back later in the week, uh, we should just see that one pass in and out pretty quickly without a lot of fuss. So we may see a few more clouds. Uh, we may get a bit of a breeze, but we're not really expecting much of a rain chance with that line of uh, or with that front on Friday and then next weekend looks good. Not humid. A cool morning in uh, the 50s on Saturday ending up around 78 for the high. So that's your seven day forecast. After we get rid of these storms tomorrow, we're looking for a really beautiful kind of setup clearly. Uh, but yeah, just checking out our current radar scene. Couple of showers and I think we're going to get into some questions with Whitney Miller. Yes, yes, we are. How are you guys doing there at home? I see that um, you are sending in your questions. And um, Alexandra, someone asked, they said it looks like there's the strong stuff is staying north. They wondered if there are any risk of tornadoes, I think locally is what they meant. It's more so to our north, but you saw there were at the level one to two. So we really can't rule it out, especially when we get these lines kind of barreling in. Sometimes there can be some rotation along the lines when they do move in. So not saying there will not be a tornado, right. but the, the risk for a tornado is lower. I think more so it would be the damaging wind gusts for our area. Um, you know, we were talking earlier just about how much right now is festival season. There's all these different events, people, uh, you know, having to keep an eye on the weather. Last weekend, we, you know, were under the impression there was going to be a lot of strong storms. Locally, there were storms, but it just the path changed. I guess, can you talk a little bit about some of the changes that can happen with, um, with, with the radar and, and the direction in which some of these storms pop up? Yeah, last weekend we ended up getting some drier air working in, and so, uh, during the week leading up to Saturday, there were some strong storms forecast. There ended up being some heavy storms out toward Baton Rouge. There were two big flash flood warnings, but like you say, the placement was just a little bit off. So that happened last weekend. Actually, though, if you look at the past several weekends, we have had storms around threatening for mm -hmm. like a month plus. So it's just another kind of pattern. And it's interesting because mm -hmm. we can get these patterns around every seven days. So some years <laughs> it's kind of interesting in the spring, it'll be coming in like Thursday or in this case, right. it's weekends. So it's like Saturday, <laughs> Sunday or Monday. It seems like we've been getting these storm systems move in. But yeah, things can always change. I would just keep an eye on your phone tonight mm -hmm. and tomorrow morning if you wake up, you know, just of course be prepared for exact location of these storms to be a little bit different. But right now, as I was saying, we're thinking between about sunrise mm -hmm. and midday and it'll be out of here, I think, besides maybe a few showers later. And uh, strong winds have been happening like all week. 
I've yeah. been walking my dog. Derwin has almost flown away at least three times. <laughs> uh, you, you anticipate the winds being very strong tomorrow as well? Tomorrow, let's see, I have winds kind of breezy, but it doesn't look especially mm. strong. This has kind of been in the lead up to this system that we've seen that, um, that fetch really increasing, and we've had a big high to our east, we've had a low to our west, but as the low moves in and kind of pushes this line of storms through, we'll stay breezy, but it may not be quite as windy. So tomorrow, let me see, I have west, northwest winds up to about maybe 15 plus miles per hour. And then even Monday, winds may be up to maybe 10 or 15 miles per hour from the northwest. And as I was pointing out, instead of south winds, making it so humid and muggy and keeping that dew point temperature so high. They'll be from the northwest and there's actually a lot of dry, cooler air that will actually be moving into our area with those winds. Oh, wow. Um, I'm getting a question about the North Shore. What did they have? Um to in store for their weather and specifically mandible. OK, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back to our model here and I can kind of show you that. Hopefully we can pull that up. So uh, North Shore and South Shore both looking for about the same thing. This is by overnight starting to see a few showers. We'll go into early tomorrow. So if you just kind of want to look uh, at your screen 5 a.m. You can see the time in the top right corner. This would be 6 and 7. So if you're around Mandeville, it may be right around sunrise. Now keep in mind this could be off by an hour or so or you know, we'll have to see how it shapes up overnight. But we're thinking right now right around sunrise. Uh, sunrise right now is at 644 a.m. And then this takes us to about 8 a.m. Still some rain around, but might be easing. So wherever it does rain tomorrow with this line of storms, it's not going to last, I think, that long with the initial line of the heavy rain. Now later we could see some uh, rain kind of slowing down, breaking up, especially off to the east in some of our eastern areas, eastern St. Tammany, St. Bernard into Mississippi. Um, so we could see the showers kind of continuing. You can see till 1 or 2 p.m. around those spots, but mostly it's going to be in and out with that initial line of storms and then a chance for the showers later in the day. So Mandeville, I would say uh, right around sunrise to about maybe 8 or 9 a.m. for the, the worst of the weather is how it's looking right now. And what are you seeing for Picayune, Mississippi? Someone asked. Picayune, kind of the same. Picayune tends to get, um, you know, after Mandeville, maybe depending on how fast the line <laughs> moves, you know, maybe a half hour, hour behind. So this would be around Picayune, kind of similar, 637. Looks like it would be right there. Picayune, of course, is uh, just off to the north of Slidell. If someone's watching, doesn't know where that is. Um, this is 8 a.m. We'll fast forward to about 9 and 10. And then you can see the, the line does look like it could continue kind of slowing down, breaking up, bringing some rain. And that's kind of the a thinking for tomorrow also is that First, it's going to be the initial line as it moves in that we're looking for high wind gusts and we'll have to watch, of course, for a tornado or some hail. But then after that, as it kind of progresses toward Mississippi, it may start to slow down a little bit and that would mean perhaps more of a flooding threat. Now you saw the maps I was showing you. The rain totals do not look unmanageable, I would say, up to about one, maybe two inches of rain. So hopefully we can all deal with that. But as we know, if you get that quickly, it can lead to some flooding issues. So the threat might be transitioning toward our Mississippi spots, more toward perhaps flooding as opposed to severe weather through the afternoon and into the evening. Someone uh, mentioned that they, I guess when we were talking about rain earlier uh, last week, and they said they still didn't get enough rain in Terrebonne Parish. They felt Ugh. like, um, you know, I think we have such a large viewing area too. So, you know, it could be raining in one place and not raining in another. Um, but, you know, the, the, the weather threat is still severe for some. And so we got to make sure that we're letting everybody know. That's exactly it. You saw that map showing the really higher risk is just outside of our area. So right. southwest Mississippi, some spots not far from us are under the level three risk of severe weather. Let me pull that up for you overnight. Uh, but for where we are, you can see we're in the yellows for overnight, but we're not really expecting rain until about, you know, 6, 7 a.m. So really this map is kind of the very tail end of your Saturday map, which takes us to about sunrise. And then this is the Sunday map for tomorrow. So the level one and two. So not to say that this is no risk for severe weather. Of right. course, we'll have to watch for it, but the levels one and two, that's a little bit more manageable. We'll still need to watch. You want to be careful. You know, you probably want to, you know, 
figure out the timing um, early tomorrow and just kind of have a, have a plan for if the storms are right over you at a particular time. For example, 8 a.m., you might think about doing something a little bit later or earlier, um, but we are looking at that level one to two. That's pretty typical for our area. Those are some strong storms that we're anticipating, but thankfully we're not placed at this point, at least at a really high risk of severe storms like you saw out there today, for example, around the Memphis area. Yeah, someone mentioned because you're talking about, you know, the level one and two risks. They said storms are always a concern, even when they are mild. Mm. Yeah, you just want to be aware. Weather aware is so important uh, and you could flood, it could, you know, you just have to be be aware at all times. It's so true. And, you know, sometimes we think, um, you know, a shower versus a big mm. thunderstorm. Well, both are rain. You yeah. Know? So, yeah, like you <laughs> yeah. say, good to always be prepared. And again, we'll be with you tomorrow morning. Alexa Trishler will be in. We'll be watching and keeping yeah. you updated. Um, um, you know, from the weather center tomorrow and then in the second part of the day, lower risk for severe weather, maybe a few showers around. It's always good to have that phone with you, mm -hmm. have the app, um, have your uh, your WWL plus apps because we will come on here if there is some severe um, weather for you to be aware of. But this is good, especially because if you have plans for tomorrow, you need to be able to time them out mm -hmm. and um, also be safe. That's right. And we'll be with you all day tomorrow yeah. through it all and then into the beautiful weather coming up for the work week. At least we get that to look forward you know, to. You know, and I was going to say, I like just like the weather, it, you know, you prepare for the storms and then next week is going to be beautiful. Well, it's like we'll have forgotten we all get about this them. every week and we're going to forget about it. Exactly. <laughs> just enjoy the cool weather. Yes. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much. And thank you at home for asking your questions. Mm -hmm. If you have more questions, um, oh, wait, somebody said the gardens need a drizzle rain, please. Uh, you know, nice. I, listen, I, my thumbs are not green, <laughs> so all my plants need a little rain. I, <laughs> yeah, yep, my herbs too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I, those are all the questions that we have. I just, you know, thank you all at home for sending those questions in. And Alexandra, thank you for having all the knowledge. Oh, <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs> all right. We will be back later on tonight. Make sure you tune in and keep that app close by.